Well, I decided to build these Excelsior motorcycles, these uh, uh, board track races, and so I looked for all the pictures, and there's five pictures of the right side of the bike, and this picture here, it was the best one. I knew how, how large the tires were, so I squared off, off the photograph and then I made a full-size drawing. On the left side of the motor, I don't know any pictures which are, are in, in circulation, so I basically had to use artistic license making the left side. So I think I've succeeded fairly well because I've never had any comments saying that anything looks out of place or anything like that. Well, you have to choose your metals, you have to have a design, you have to have some uh, a fabrication skills, uh, you have to do the finishing work, the paint, selection of components, and ultimately it has to go because otherwise you've made a lemon. I designed the inside of the engine and, and, and that took four months of, of one year because I had to figure out what kind of flywheels to put in and the valve angles and the length of the connecting rod, all that kind of stuff. I've got to be able to work with micrometers and fine tools because the tolerances have to be quite accurate sometimes. I need to know how to weld and braze and silver solder and I have to be able to work all of, all of the machines. I'd encourage people to learn how to use their hands as much as they can because I really feel like it's a lost art now. One thing is, is pretty good hand-eye coordination because when you're working on, on, on machines and you've got automatic travel, for example, you've got to know when to stop that thing. Eyesight's really helpful having a, a good eyesight, especially when you're TIG welding. And something that I've developed over the years is, is visualization. I can, I can see a part in, in my mind, and I haven't even made it yet, but I know more or less what the part looks like. Every day, sometimes I don't feel like I've accomplished a lot, but as long as I make a little bit of movement with the project every day, it'll get done because I think a lot of people get frustrated and they give up. That's why a lot of projects don't ultimately finish. It's a very good skill to have, learning to use your hands and having patience.